Now IR sensor, this is another very very important and commonly used sensor uh, in the digital world. So it actually uses the pyroelectric sensor. Pyroelectricity can be described as the ability of certain materials to generate a temporary, temporary voltage when they are heated or cooled. Okay. Like when it is a normal position, it is not generating or it is generating a certain level of voltage like this. Okay. When some heated object came and it is emit some infrared, then the voltage raised. Okay. But after some time, the voltage again came to the normal. Okay, if some other object came, some other animal or human being came or some fire happened here, the infrared coming from that thing will make this thing again increased. Okay, and after some time it will be in a normal position. If something heated thing go out from this room, then it will go down, signal will go down and then it will become the normal position that is the concept okay the certain material to generate a temporary voltage when they are heated or cooled okay so some some sensors that react with the heat some sensors that react with the cool okay so here are some examples one is using in our television or remote uh, uh, air conditioner or this kind of devices Another we commonly used in line following robot. Okay, so there are some examples of IR sensor. Here is two very interesting IR sensors. One is for detecting flame. Another one is for detecting the line. Okay, white or black line. Usually used in our uh, or, or some some cases it's used is an used as an proximity sensor. But both of the sensors are digital sensors. Okay, but we told the sensors are giving us analog signals. Now, why these things are called digital signal? Like, if you take a look on the flame sensor, when the flame, it, it see the flame, it increase the voltage, okay? But you can see there is a potentiometer, okay? That can make a cutoff point. Like, if the voltage cross the line, then it will generate one. If we see this is the sensor, if we see this is sensor, then if, if fires here, I am calling it fire, if the fire make the sensor increase the voltage more than the cutoff point or the, uh, what we can say, uh, threshold voltage, then it will give me one. Otherwise, if it does not cross the line, if it just come here and go down again, that will give us zero. Okay, so that is why we are calling these sensors as digital sensor. Okay, with a potentiometer that is controlling the cutoff point or the threshold point. Okay, if it increase or if it cross this line, then one, if it does not cross, like if some human being or uh, uh, animal enter in this room, then they also increase the infrared sensor, the heat of the infrared sensor, but the voltage will not cross this line. But if we make some fire inside this room, that that is that is more that that will produce more infrared. Okay, that thing will uh, increase the voltage so that it goes up and it will give one. So that is a digital sensor and the other one is also the same, okay. It is also one is emitter, one is receiver, but we can control or we can control the threshold point like you know this is as I told you this is used, it can be used one for proximity, another one for the line detection. Like when the white line comes, white line reflects more than the black line. In the opposite way, black line reflects less than the white line. So, when this sensor come on the black line, 
that means it will receive less infrared okay and when it will go to the white line then it will give more voltage on the infrared sensor okay and we have to adjust our that potentiometer in such a way so that it can cross the thresholding for the white line okay so that is the concept of using this kind of sensors okay this is also a digital sensor and proximity like pro what is proximity proximity means near near how near the thing is like if we uh, put our finger near the sensor don't touch just near the sensor that means it will reflect from our finger and also our finger will also produce some infrared so when our finger will come near to the sensor it will produce the voltage okay it will be used as a switch or as a uh, proximity sensor okay now the pir this is another very very interesting sensor this is commonly used whether uh, commonly used to identify whether there is the there, there is an existence of human being or an animal or not okay so in this sensor it's you it's saying passive infrared sensor passive means it's not emitting anything okay the infrared is coming from the environment in the previous one the air uh, the flame sensor is also was a passive sensor but no here the uh, line following sensor proximity sensor that is an active sensor as i told you at the beginning of, of this lesson okay so passive infrared sensor is sensing the environment passively that means the uh, radiation or the light or the infrared is coming from the environment okay you don't need to emit anything okay here it's using fresnel lens which is actually focusing all the heats onto the sensor okay so you can see there is a dome uh, shaped lens which is actually concentrating all the infrared around it and concentrating on the infrared sensor okay so when some human being came inside the room or some animal came inside the room or there are some heated thing it came inside the room the voltage increased okay so that is the thing and also it's saying pir is stabilizing is, is, yeah, pir need stabilizing period to adjust the room temperature as i told you so when it came inside the we use inside the room it needs some time to get stabilized okay so when first you turn on the sensor maybe the, it will find some heat around this room so it will go up and it will take some time to get adjusted okay and third thing it's saying when human or animal passes heat increased and uh, increased and stabilized again as i told you it increased and stabilized again okay so that is the way how a pir can identify whether there is a human being or a animal came inside the room but there is another interesting thing by using two infrared it can even uh, sense whether the object is moving from left to right or one side to another side or left to right or right to left okay you can see there are two sensors if the first one or left one is triggered first then we can understand the second one triggers later then we can say it's going it's going from left to right but if it opposite happened like the right one uh, triggered first and the left one triggered next then we can see it's going from left right to left okay in this way the pir also can be used to identify whether someone is coming from left to right or right to left okay this is a very interesting sensor very commonly used i have seen uh, in some toilet they used pir sensor like when you will enter inside the toilet the light will turn on automatically okay but as this thing happen after some time the light will go down on that time you have to move okay you have to move your hand or you have to move your legs okay so the uh, heat will increase again and the turn the light will turn turn on again okay so yeah this this is commonly used in a number of places you can also find this kind of pir uh, in some smart uh, uh, tap like water tap so if you will put your hand near the tap the tap will turn on 
they are using the same infrared sensor ok. This is also another two common uh, IR sensors or two common application of IR sensor. One is used in temperature sensor and another one is used in remote control ok. Now in this pandemic situation you know there are almost all the uh, uh, shopping center or all the airport they are using this kind of temperature sensor. They will not touch your body but from a bit uh, a bit, bit far that means two, th 2 to 6 inches far away it can detect your temperature ok. So this is commonly using in current world and then another one is TV remote ok or the air conditional remote ok like this one ok. So if we will press on some button the emitter will give some modulated signal. Modulated signal means the light will turn on and off in some pattern. Like if I will say every second I will get some data. So if I say 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, you could get a data. Okay, so by using this kind of technique, I say it very slowly, but it send the information very quickly, okay, in very fastly or very speedier clock cycle. Okay, so in this way, this is sending the signal in modulated way, and the television or the air conditioner that is receiving the signal and demodulate it and understand what I, I have sent or what we have sent by using this remote controller. Okay. Uh, this is another interesting thing LDR which is commonly used a very cheap sensor that can sense the light ok light dependent register. You can see actually it is a semiconductor material when there is light then it increase the conductivity. But if there is no light no conductivity you can see in the first figure since there, there was no sunlight no electric signal of voltage came on right side but on the second figure there is light and the full voltage came on the right side that means conductivity increased and the left figure conductivity was very low ok or we can say it's, my resistance was very high. This is another UV sensor module this, this sensor works, works also in the same way but in this case actually they use some other engineering like they only allowed to pass the UV light ok it block all other lights it only allows some prism or some other uh, uh, optical module they used only to allow only allows it to pass UV light ok and there is a light sensor that is sensing the light ok. So that is a UV light sensor again it has the thresholding uh, value so if it cross the threshold then it will say ok the that the, the UV light is exist in this room or in this environment ok. The respond wavelength is 200 to 370 nanometer. X-ray sensor I do not know how the sensor works but this kind of sensors are available in, in, the, in the market ok. If this is USB uh, X-ray sensor you can X-ray your teeth or if uh, the bone broke you can just put it here and you can get the information ok. Pulse oximeter ok. This is very very how to say commonly used sensor again ok you can see uh, here and there ok you can see the uh, TVC on your Facebook or on your television ok. So this sensor is actually sensing the blood flow or the red blood cells flow ok. If you will see the figure on the first picture the amount of red blood cell or amount of oxygen was few that why most of the light could go through the vessels ok. But on the second figure since the amount of red blood cell increased the almost no uh, or very few amount of light could pass through ok. So on the first figure it is showing less oxygen or less blood cell on by observing the second figure we can say amount of oxygen is too high ok. This is a very very important uh, sensor in this current world because uh, when the coronavirus attack us it attack our lunge ok. So when 
lungs cannot function well, the uh, oxygen level decreased. Okay, usually uh, in healthy human being, they have 97 to 100 percent of oxygen. It, it shows 97 to 100 percent. Okay, but if the oxygen level goes down uh, or decrease less than 90 percent, then we have to provide external oxygen. Okay, uh, maybe 90 to 90, 92. I have forgotten the exact uh, figure. You please, if you have interest, please read it. What is the exact uh, amount of uh, exact percentage of uh, oxygen? Okay. So the thing is, by using this thing, you can understand whether your lungs is functioning well or not. Okay. But the sensor works with the light principle, principle of light. Okay. This is another uh, laser sensor. Okay. This is commonly used in industry, like. Uh, in a conveyor belt, how many product is produced or how many product went that things can be counted by using this kind of laser sensor. Okay, commonly used in the industry. So, I think that was our last uh, uh, sensor in sensing using light principle. On next uh, part, we are going to discuss about magnetic and electromagnetic sensors. Okay, thank you very much.